decided to take him and leave. She's packing right now. What about Jane? Jane will stay here with us. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> well, I hate the thought of losing little Ethan, but if it means saving him from being raised by Alistair, then that's a good thing. And, and Teresa finally being out of our lives, I mean, that is fabulous. So Teresa is leaving Harmony with little Ethan. Yeah, that's right. And Jane is staying here with us. Yes. Okay, well, what if Teresa doesn't like it where she ends up and she winds up coming back here? That won't happen because I promised to help Teresa escape. You did what? Are you crazy? Ethan, what about Alistair? Alice, he won't know Teresa and little Ethan are gone until it's too late. Okay, and then what? And then what? You know he's going to be furious with you. <laughs> Fine, I'm not afraid of that man. Well, I think maybe you should be. Let's just take one crisis at a time, okay? Teresa's leaving, Gwen. She's leaving for good. And I, for one, feel sorry for her because she has to leave her family and her friends at a very short notice. Ethan, she brought this on herself. Yes and no. She was desperate to get Jane back, and marrying Alistair was the only way she thought that that could happen. Only Alistair's help came with too high of a price. I cannot believe you are defending her. Gwen, I am not defending her. I am just trying to do what is right here. And what is right is me trying to help little Ethan and Teresa get the hell away from Alistair. You agreed to help Teresa leave Harmony with little Ethan? Yes, I did. You know, just when I think I can't be shocked anymore, you or Teresa prove me wrong. What? What, Gwen? I mean, this now, this is it. Okay, this is the last straw. This is just too damn much. Because not only is it not your job to play travel agent to Teresa, but helping her guarantees that Alistair's going to come crashing down on you. And while Teresa and little Ethan are off living the high life somewhere, we are going to be kicked to the curb. Gwen, I told you, Alistair will not know that I helped Teresa. Ethan, Alistair knows everything. Let me tell you something. Teresa is making a pretty big sacrifice by agreeing to leave with little Ethan. Not only is she going to go to a town, a strange town, alone with little Ethan, without Jane, not being able to come back to Harmony to see her friends or her family. Yeah, Gwen, I feel a little sorry for her. You know, you're rather, you're rather too good to be true or just too dumb to live. I swear. I, for one, really don't give a damn what happens to Teresa, because that bitch is getting everything she deserves for what she's done to us. No, she's not. You, are you kidding me? You know, Gwen, me? it's not right that you're talking about Teresa like that. It's not. You know, I'm this close to ripping a piece of you out by its roots and choking you with it. You know what? Leave the theatrics to your mother. I'm trying to do what's right. For Teresa! No, no. Gwen, for us. For us. You wanted Teresa gone. She's going. Do you not want her to stay oh, you gone? you know I want her gone. Well, then guess what? What I'm doing, helping Teresa leave, is in both of our best interests. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Well, I am completely sure about that. And once little Ethan and Teresa are settled someplace, I'm going to take Jane secretly to see them whenever I can. You are absolutely not going to do that. I forbid that. We have custody of Jane. Teresa is Jane's mother. I am Jane's father. And leaving Alistair shouldn't mean that Teresa doesn't get to see her daughter for the rest of her life. You know what? The way you're talking right now, I think you should leave with Teresa. Mm -hmm.